Hi, this is Windows 7 user and this is a quick video on ConvertX to DVD. Uh, in my opinion, this is the best way to maintain a high amount of quality on a regular DVD. Um, this is really good for stuff like home videos and stuff like that. Um, here's the program. I'm going to put this link in the description. There is a free trial if you just want to try it out without buying it. It's pretty small. It's about a 17 megabyte file. Uh, here's the program right here. It's called ConvertX to DVD again. This is the fourth edition and uh, the newest update. Um, if you click on the settings, I want to show you the settings that I use. Um, I changed my theme to aluminum. That's not necessarily, you don't have to do it, but uh, check for updates regularly. Um, change the language to whatever language is in your country, so English for me. Uh, chapters, um, this is how you can choose how to create your chapters. Um, this is my personal preference, and this is also the default settings. I think they're pretty good. Uh, for the DVD menus, you can choose whichever one you prefer. Um, I just prefer the Black Mirror, it's pretty nice. Um, you can add DVD menu labels, a um, couple more options here. Leave all the sound events normal, that just tells you when there's different things happening with the program. Uh, leave the deinterlacing to automatic. Uh, if you change the video resize method, change it to letterbox. So you, oh, I'm sorry, stretch. So that you can fit your whole TV. Um, for the resize, put linear VSO. Um, just put the amount of cores that you have in your computer. So I have four cores, so I'll use a four core. Um, for the encoding options, always leave it to automatic. It will automatically put the highest uh, possible amount onto the DVD size that you have chosen. Now there's a couple different options. Uh, I'm just doing it on a standard DVD. And just leave the uh, conversion priority on normal. If you want to do two pass encoding, that just basically ensures that the DVD is is going to come out successfully. Um, for DVD specifications, put it to whatever your area is. So if you're in Europe, put it to PAL. If you're in America or Asia, put it to NTSC. Uh, the resolution, you're going to want to put it to full D1. And the aspect ratio is 16.9 if you have a widescreen, 4 by 3 if you have a full screen. Uh, burning, um, the easiest way to do this is I first select your burner. So I have my Blu-ray burner here. I won't be burning Blu-ray right now, just a standard disc. And look on the disc that you're actually burning. What, whatever the number is on the disc, so say it's an 8x disc, you want to burn at half of that speed. That will guarantee that you don't have any skipping or anything like that. Um, label the DVD whatever you want, like my video. So um, there's a couple other options. This is more just customizing. What if you have different things that you want? There's nothing too much that I can show you there. Subtitles, um, you can put them in there if you want. There is options for it. And uh, here's the audio, convert to format. Um, I have 5.1 surround sound, so I'm going to want to use that. And we'll click OK um, when the conversion starts. So I just have a home video here. It's off my Blackberry. It's like a 3GP video. So if you want, you can just click on the video right here. And you can rename things, like edit title set name. So balloon. And you can rename uh, this. If you wanted to rename the DVD itself, you'll go into settings, you'll go into general. And I believe we were at um, DVD specific you know, burning. You change my video right here. If you wanted to change that. Um, so it'll tell you your encoding option gives you the best possible result, which is great. And then um, you just click put in a DVD, click convert, and it'll go. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If this video helped you, you can help me by liking this video, uh, commenting on it, sh telling other people it works, and subscribing. Thank you for your time. If you have any other requests for videos that you want me to make, just please uh, write it in the comment section below, and I'll make an HD tutorial for you. Thank you for your time.